Hello everyone, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So, it's two days after my last recording and uh, I actually uploaded a lot of episodes yesterday. And I asked Google like, hey guys, where can I buy a TV, you know, to do shopping? And Google's answer was, dude, use this TV. And I'm like, really? Wow. So, <clears throat> apart from that, I'm not sure what I should do right now. Um, let's see. We could um, go for the twins. No. Maybe we could. I say this is saying I can, but the map is not for some reason kind of strange um i think what i should do is uh go play darts for the baton pass uh, or baton baton pass whatever mm. but let's just have a look i'm just curious yeah i should be able to talk to them right what are you gonna do today no place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is one that many young people are set to visit. Here one has the opportunity to view the fantasies of humans. We hear uh, there are a variety of fantasies available for per... what? Perusal? Perusal? There? And all outside of a palace. How strange. Yes, these fantasies, they are the cognitions of others given form. They will undoubtedly support your efforts. Does such a location sound familiar? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Could be a movie theater. What'll you do? Uh, let's check my my thingy first. Um, the twins. Oh, they're rank one. Next one is allows you to leave a persona to learn an attribute resistance. What? Powerful new ones. Allows you to leave a persona to learn an attribute resistance. Oh. I see. Basically, having a persona that has a resistance to something, right? Um, man of the people. Diplomacy. Occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations. Yeah, sounds interesting as well. <coughs> Both are important. And this guy could be... <laughs> oh, he's only there on Sundays, right? Okay, yeah, I remember. So, um... Friday. You know what? what are you gonna do Let's now? just do it. Yes, 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 yes. What will you do? Yes. Movie theater. Oh, guide me, inmate. Now we have the time to, you know. Not bad for an inmate. That was a rather enjoyable. Uh, that was rather enjoyable, inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. No wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! Shut up! It was only because of that thing jumping out at my face. And you were just as scared, Justine. Uh, it certainly was startling. Startling. The eyes uh, and nose seemed to stretch out right at me. 
And it all began the moment I don't those black glasses. What exactly were uh, those that we wore? <clears throat> 3D glasses. Oh, so there was some sort of trick to the glasses. But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is that humans even create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagination of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. <clears throat> Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fictional events? Um. <clears throat> so they wish to avert their eyes from the world they live in. What an unsettling answer. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a, a foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? Huh. Hmm, a pathetic fantasy. I'll bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider uh, such crassness, Caroline. If you were to attempt such a blatant jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh, and how would you do it, Justine? <laughs> I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster of some distractive image. <clears throat> Blowing open the cell door seems more impactful. They used that plan in one of the movie previews, correct? They wielded a bazooka and went about blowing everything up. And recaptured, escapee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for an inmate on the lamb, lamb, lamb. Suspense and excitement are necessary elements of any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline, or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up! The inmate so settle uh, this for us. Hey, tell us, uh, how do you try to escape? Would you blast the door or use this spoon? Um, I'm not going anywhere. That is not the answer we are looking for at the moment. It doesn't matter either, you can't escape us, no matter how sound you think your plan is. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit every now and then. Indeed, today we learned more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile places plague humanity. <laughs> You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. That being said, this is your reward. Now, I believe return. that will be all for today. It is time to return. <clears throat> Did I not get level two? Rank 2. Because I did not have any correct answer I wanted to hear. Did you catch any of that student detective on television yesterday? The Phantom Thieves are so Ah, delayed. on that talk show, it was simply dreadful. How can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That child is a phony. There's simply no way that the Phantom Thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they are real and worse this, uh, that this detective is amazing. Children are far too imp impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. <sighs> Looks like people still, uh, still don't think we're real.
So did I waste I'm time so there? Pumped. I can't believe we were on TV yesterday with Akechi Kun. It was like a dream come true. I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as detective. He's just like the detective prince. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool. We had uh, front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a Kechikun. I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform and without uh, seeming like a snob. He's a natural at public speaking. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I heard his dad. Uh, that's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say, I love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh, yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular, they're going to air it again tonight. I wanna check if my rank went up. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. <laughs> you guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? He said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. He is Batman. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? <laughs> I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is really irritating. 
By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorm.